Many engineers think that you are baud rate can only use this kind of baud rate the 300, 600, 1200, 2400, 4800, 9600, 14400, 19200, 38400, 57600 and 115200 BPS that have traditionally been used. So, for example, consider a board that uses a clock of 32,768 Hz. Calculating the UART baud rate for each MCU will be different, but if you calculate the traditional UART baud rate at 32,768 Hz clock, there is no baud rate available without error. A engineer were developing a board that uses a 32,768 Hz clock. To transmit the preset data to the UART on the board, the computer transmits a few kb of data at 300 bps, which is the smallest error rate of the conventional boo rate. This takes about 33 seconds even if data is transmitted ideally without any error during communication. Now let's change our mind a little. Why do we want to use only the baud rate that was traditionally used? The computer now in use no longer supports COM ports. All of them use UART communication using USB serial converter. I use the FT2232D in my case, so I will explain it based on this, but I think other FTDI chipsets and similar kinds of chipsets will work without problems. The FT2232D supports transfer rates from 300 BPS to 3 million BPS. The FT2232D internally uses 3 million Hz as the reference clock. And Devisor uses N plus 0, N plus 0 0.125, N plus 0 0.25, N plus 0 0.375, N plus 0 0.5, N plus 0 0.625, N plus 0 0.75, N plus 0 0.875, and N is 16384 from 2. For example, for a calculation of 115,200 BPS, dividing 3 million by 115,200 equals 26,041. The divisor value of 26.041 is a value between 26 plus 0 and 26 plus 0 0.125, which is closer to 26 plus 0, so 26 is used as the divisor. Dividing 3 million by 26 equals 115,384.6 BPS is within plus or minus 3% range, so there is no problem with 115,200 BPS UR communication. That is baud rate simply means the time required to output 1 bit when UR communication is performed. No matter what baud rate is used for UR communication, However, it is only necessary that the communication terminals use the same boo rate, the number of data bits, the use of parity bits, and the number of stop bits. You can simply test UART communication between the computer and the MCU. Connect the USB serial converter to your computer and run the serial terminal program, which allows you to enter any boo rate. Connect the MCU and computer to a USB serial converter. Set the data bits, stop bits, and parity bits and test them by changing them to various baud rate values. In my case, I have not tested for all baud rate, and a simulation result of plus or minus 3% error occurs partially from above 773196 B. An RS-232 level USB serial converter includes TTL RS-232 level converter. Most RS-232 TTL level converter chipset does not support 500,000 BPS or 1 million BPS. I hope this helps your project.